You should already have back your project and your um, color wheel. You're going to put your color wheel into your project folder first. Set that to the side then. And with your star project, we're going to do two elements today. First thing we're going to start with value scale. So I have these at your table. Value scale goes from a dark to a light. Now this could be, remember it could be like a solid blue to lighter, 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 and lighter shades of blue up to white. Or what we're going to practice is using marks. So you can use a sharpie or a pen today and you're going to make a mark, not coloring it in solid, but make a mark almost coloring it in solid and then lighter and lighter and lighter for five shades. So you can look at this for ideas for what to do. These are close, close, small circles and they get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. These are zigzags, this is actually just scribbles. And we're gonna do that in just one half of one of the points. So first I'm gonna write down in this corner, value scale, okay? And now up here, I'm gonna do five different, different shades. So I'm gonna go ahead and break that up. So that's gonna be one, two, three, four, five. And I'm gonna do some cross hatching. So now I'm gonna get a little lighter, so they're gonna be a little further apart. And again, a little further apart. Okay, so then I've got my five different shades. Next, in this last two sections that you have, we're gonna do space. So I'm gonna go ahead and label it. I'm labeling it down here so I can use all of this for my drawing. Okay, so that's a space. All right, so up here, I'm gonna do a drawing that shows space. So remember we talked about one way is to have things get smaller as they go up the page, that shows space. So up the page on, in this instance means this area, okay? Um, things get blurrier as they get further away. The color gets duller. We're only going to use Sharpies or pens for this, so the color isn't going to get duller, but you really want to utilize that objects get smaller. So I think what I'm going to do is actually use this idea of space. You can draw anything you want. Um, what you're going to need is three things that get further away from each other, and then on your picture they're going to get smaller. So I'm going to have one planet here. I'm going to have another planet here and another third planet back here. And now I'm going to add some details. Okay, so once you're finished with your space drawing and your value scale, um, you need to go back and make sure that you have all of the rest of your sections finished. Um, to do that today, you're going to just go ahead and use the Sharpies, the pens, or the colored pencils. Um, once you are finished, then your project is going to go in the project folder, and you can do a free draw or homework if you have it with you, but you should be in your seat.